All right. Hello, we're going to talk about drinks and we're also going to talk about different items in the house that we may find in our kitchens. So, first of all, we have water. Everybody likes water, right? It's not sweet, though it's not um, fizzy, it's not as fun, it's not an alcohol. So, but water is very healthy for you. Um, next we have milk. Right? We drink milk from cows, sometimes goats, sometimes sheep. Mostly cows, though, at least here in the U.S. So, milk. I should also say there are some types of dairy-free milk. So we have, like, almond milk or soy milk. These are made from soybeans or almond nuts that are um, help people who can't digest milk. So those options are also available. Next, we have coffee and tea, also very, very popular. Uh, I think almost every country in the world drinks coffee, so hopefully you're familiar with it. We have soda, right? These fizzy drinks, they're often called pop if you travel west. Uh, we also have different types of alcohol, such as beer, wine, um, different kinds of whiskey, and uh, what else is there? Vodka, so I don't know that much, I'm sorry. Okay, moving on, we have items to drink things with. This is called a cup. This is a bottle, right? A bottle of water, a cup of coffee, right? A cup of water, a bottle of coffee. It doesn't really matter what's inside. We're just learning the name for the containers. Very good. Uh, we have a glass, right? A glass could also be called a cup, but glasses specifically, you can see through them. So next we have the word mug. Mug has a handle that you can drink from because it has hot, right? Hot coffee. If you hold it like this, ooh, too hot, right? So we have a little handle. I should highlight it here, a little handle to hold it. So very good mug. Oh, I forgot we're going to talk about desserts. So maybe we won't get to the um, kitchen. All right, well, we'll just have an extra video. Very good, sweet things. So they're not always desserts, but we're, so we have candy, right? Different types of candies. A lot of people get these for presents or uh, holidays, right? Candy, or just at the grocery store. Next, we have cookies, right? You bake cookies. These are chocolate chip. Uh, you can have oatmeal raisin. You can just have regular chocolate cookies. There's lots of different kinds you can make. So in general, you can say, I'm having dessert. Usually dessert is a sweet thing that you eat after a meal. So desserts can be brownies, cookies, cupcakes, ice cream. Dessert can be anything you want. It could even be sweet cereal, like Lucky Charms. Uh, moving on, we have brownies. Brownies are one of my favorites. Brownies are very, very good. Brownies. Uh, we have cake, right? Cake can be different flavors. So brownies are usually more dense and heavy. Cake is light, fluffy, a lot of times with icing. Cupcakes are small cakes, right, with frosting or icing on top. So we have pie. Pie is very good. Like, uh, usually you have fruit inside of pie, so you can have apple pie, cherry pie, blueberry pie, but you could, you could also have meat pies, right? Um, that's a common thing. You could have um, egg, egg pies as well. So they're called quiche, sometimes custard if it's a dessert egg pie. So moving on, we have ice cream. Everybody loves ice cream. We're going to talk a little bit about different flavors. I believe the most popular are chocolate and vanilla. Then we also have strawberry ice cream, mint ice cream, etc. So, all right, now we're going to talk about things in the kitchen. Again, I know this is fast. Hopefully, um, you have um, the ability to go backwards in the video and listen to it again if you need to. Okay, things in the kitchen. So we eat off of plates, and we have we have a bowl, right? Bowl and plates. So. Bowl is for soup, liquids, salads, etc. So we have these utensils. These are called utensils or silverware or plasticware. If they're made out of plastic, silver is this color and it's metal. Good. So fork, knife, and a spoon. Very good. Fork, knife, spoon. Silverware. There we go. Silverware. We also have napkins, right? If you have something on your hands, so napkins. At my house, we use paper towels as napkins, paper towels. So if you want to be um, good for the environment, you will use cloth, cloth napkins that you can wash and use over. So, all right, this is a table, right? My laptop is on a table. I'm sitting on a chair. Maybe you're sitting on a chair. So kitchen table usually and chairs around it. Next, we have this big cold box. This is called the refrigerator or fridge, right? Refrigerator. 
or fridge. Most people call it the fridge. So some fridges, some refrigerators have a freezer on top where you keep the cold items like the ice cream, right? You keep the cold items. A lot of new refrigerators have the freezer on the bottom instead of the top. Good. So we have the sink, right, where we have the, shh, the water. You can wash your hands, wash the dishes. You could wash off fruits or vegetables. So very good. Next we have dish soap. This is a special type of soap we use to clean our dishes. So some of you may have a dishwasher. Uh, you may have different looking soap. And then this little scrubby, it's called a sponge, a sponge. So it's important to clean your sponges because they can start to smell bad and then you can get sick. So it's important to clean your sponge as well. All right. So now we have, this is the dishwasher, right? You put all the dishes in it, you hit start, and then it washes the dishes for you. This is called an appliance. An appliance is usually a big, um, or small, but an important special machine in your house. So we'll talk about some more appliances now. So, an, well, a fridge is an appliance. A freezer is also an appliance, I should say. So fridge, freezer, dishwasher. We also have an oven, right? You set the temperature and mm -hmm. things get hot. Right? You can cook a lot of things in an oven. Many ovens have a stove on top, right? A stove top oven. So a stove is um, these little, we call them burners. They get hot, right? You don't, oof, you don't want to touch them. But you can fry things in a pan. The oven is right here. You can see it. Also, here's a cutting board. I think we'll talk about that in a moment. Um, so we have knobs and dials. We have a clock here. So we have a mixing spoon, a spatula, right? Uh, this is called a whisk. This is called a ladle where you scoop soup. So very good. Okay, moving on. So pots are these big things. Pans are these flat bottoms, low walls. So pots, pans. We have toasters and toaster ovens, right? Toasters are vertical, up and down, toast, 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 right? Pop. Toaster ovens are flat and you can put things on a tray. They're like a small oven. So next we have a microwave, also sometimes called a microwave oven, right? Things go around, ding, right? And then we also have a tea kettle or a teapot, oops, tea kettle or a teapot. Sometimes you put it on top of the stove. I have an electric tea kettle. It's a separate little thing. So I put water in it and I hit a button on the tea kettle itself and it heats up. So tea kettle, teapot. Very good. Okay, we have words like cabinet and counter. So cabinets are up here. Cabinets. Usually we keep plates and cups and glasses in there. And then the counter is this area here. Right? It's a lot of times used for food preparation. Sometimes people eat at the counter. So the counter. Very good. Um, you can see there are some drawers right underneath the counter. So drawers open up. A lot of times we put our silverware in there. So something very important at my house is a cutting board. You put your fruit, vegetable, meat on top of it and cut it up so you don't damage your counter, right? You don't want to stab the counter. That would be bad. You'd get hurt. The counter would get hurt. Everybody would be sad. So this whole room is called the kitchen. The kitchen is where you make the food. Now, many people eat in their kitchen. Many people have a kitchen table where they eat food. Some people have a separate room where they eat food. They cook in one room, they eat in a separate room. That separate room is called the dining room, right? To dine is just a fancier word for to eat. I dine in my dining room. Moving on. Oh, maybe that's the end of it. Okay, good. So that is also some kitchen vocabulary. All right, great job, we learned a lot. Hopefully these videos help you talk about more things around your house. All right, great job.